With new movies full of soulmates and cellmates. How do you handle knowing I'm in another man's bed? You're doing all of this for us, sweetie. Okay, that was super weird. Yeah, more than just a little. Unhappily Ever After starts Wednesday, June 5th on LMN. I'm your sister. Last time I am her sister, my parents have been lying to me for years. Just calm down. I need you to explain a few things. My mother, father, they got into a fight worse than the usual. And I could hear her screaming at him from the bedroom. And I wasn't really her daughter. She was screaming her name over and over again. Hannah. Her. So how did... Mom? That's my dad. Just all of you stay here, okay? No. What's going on? Uh, Troy Boyle? Yeah. How's my daughter? Well, she seems fine, but she's giving us a pretty wild story. Right. Troy. Casey, the first thing I need you to know is I never wanted you to find out this way. I would never have put either of you through this. I gave birth to Casey, and Troy was the father. How is that even possible? He had an affair with her, and my mom never forgave him for it. Sweetheart, that's not true. Elle and I, we were unhappy. But we were able to work through our problems. Yeah, that worked out real well. Casey, your mom... She's not my mother. That's my... We agreed that Diana would have you. And Elle and I would be your parents. Diana was having some problems of her own at the time, and... and she just wasn't able to take care of you. And Elle can't have children of her own, and that was always an issue between us. I knew if Elle had a baby, it would make her happy, and, and maybe that would save Troy's marriage. I wanted to make amends. And then all the right reasons. Mom, I know that you probably meant well, but 
She's right. You've been keeping this from us since we were born. I know. It was a condition of the adoption agreement. I legally couldn't say anything. But we're family. And maybe that's what's important. I know it doesn't excuse anything. I just hope you can both forgive us. late. Gig went later than we thought. And then Eddie tried to take all the cash for himself. No, it wasn't a problem. Somebody should have told him not to bring a knife to a gunfight. Getting another call. See you on the next one. Hey. I'm glad you called. Whatever you want, you know that I'm in. Just send me a picture of her so I know when I see her. Okay. I don't want to be lectured. It was only a matter of time before Casey even... Mother, I just... Yeah, she's right, I mean, we gotta do something about it. Jake, you just calm down. Your sister needs my counsel. Al, come and see me for breakfast tomorrow morning. We'll discuss what to do. All right. This is bad. This is bad, I mean, we gotta do something. This needs to be handled delicately. I will not have you running around like some loose cannon. Do I make myself clear? What, so I'm just supposed to let Diana Parker walk all over my big sister like it's nothing? I mean, what the hell are we supposed to do? You need to concern yourself with getting back on your feet. Now, the only reason you are out of prison right now is because of the letters I sent to the state. She might not come back from it. I mean, it practically killed her before. I am aware of that. But while you live under this roof, you will mind me, Jake. Will that be all, Gloria? Yes, Andrew. And thank you for the wonderful dinner. We'll see you tomorrow. You're very welcome. Come here. You are my children. And I would do it. I think you are excused from your actions tonight, young lady. We will be having a long talk. I can't wait. You will not speak to me in that voice. You can go to hell, mother. So how was Diana? It was surreal, and I could have used your support. <laughs> I don't think me being there would have... Is there a right to curse me like that? Of course not, but we both knew that this was going to happen. We should have told her about Diana years ago. I told you I wasn't ready. And it festered, and we argued for months, and this is what happened. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Elle, I know you're scared. Okay, and this seems like a big mess right now. Troy, can you please just tell me the truth? Please just tell me, do you still have feelings for Diana? Do you still love her? Just tell me. I don't think I ever loved her. And certainly not the way I love you. Mom. Did you ever tell Dad about Casey? I did. 
but only after he got sick. I wanted him to know the truth before he was gone. I know this all happened before I was born, but she's my half-sister. My big sister. We, we could have grown up together. Honestly, I was ashamed. And, and I know this sounds like excuses, but I truly thought I was doing the right to think about this. We both do. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Please, give us an hour, then draw my bath. Of course. So where's Jake? I thought he'd be here. He's at the garage this morning. If he doesn't keep his job, his parole could be revoked. Troy said he wouldn't leave me for Diana. And you believe that? He cheated on you with that woman. You're raising her a child. Mother. And now, Casey's become a teenager. And she's rebelling, just like you did with me. When Casey was little, she used to idolize me, remember? Mm. But it all went bad. And Troy, he somehow always seems to take her side. This is a precarious situation. You stand to lose way too much. With Diana back, she could take everything from you or L. I have already taken steps. What steps? It's better if you don't know. At least for now. I will protect our family and our future. That is what's important. Oh, I just moved here for college. I'm Linda, with a Y. I'm Fran, with an F. Oh, <laughs> you're a funny one. <laughs> hey, do you feel like some one-on-one? All right, the road trip's all set up. We're meeting 17 investors in Europe, and another two have been added to Italy. If we don't make this $150 million, we are sunk. Look, I got a lot of stuff going on at home, and this thing with Diana is just... Troy, seriously? You're the only guy who can pull off these meetings. It all hinges on you being there. I'm doing the best that I can, all right? But my marriage is on the rocks. Oh, well, whose fault is that? <sighs> I don't like problems, Troy. You need to get your head on straight. The whole future of the company depends on this. I know it's at stake, Don. Don, I told you not to call me anymore. Please respect my wishes. So, why come all the way to Philly for school? Ah, uh, my mom moved here. I go wherever she goes. That's admirable. Mm. Not everyone feels that way. Anyways, I should probably get going. I have something I need to do on the way home. But it was nice to meet you, Linda, and hope to see you again soon. Yeah. Oh. Hey, uh, friend me if you want. My username on Pix is RadGirl95. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> see ya. Bye. informative thing called the World Wide Web. Maybe you heard of it. I have heard of it. Let's sit. <laughs> okay. I was kind of shocked to find out that we live this close to one another. 
mom teaches on the other side of town, and I go to school there, too. So I guess that's why we never met. So that explains why she has some results. What do you mean? Uh, okay, um, might as well tell you. Um, a few days before I went into your house, I was watching you guys, and... That's Peg. She's my mom's sister. Your aunt. Wow, she's beautiful. You'll have to meet her sometime because, well, technically she's your family now, too. <laughs> but anyways, I have to get going. Going to meet your boyfriend or something? No, I had a boyfriend, Peter, but he turned out to be disappointing. He hurt you? He cheated. I'm finding it kind of hard to trust people lately. Sorry. Hey, I'm no stranger in disappointment. <laughs> this is to be continued. <laughs> OK, but I think that probably depends on our parents. Hey, some chance better than no chance, right? <laughs> Bye, sis. <laughs> Bye. 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 I don't know what I'll do without you, Peg. You're a good woman, Diana. What is it? Troy. Still in love with him? I don't know what I feel. It's been so many years since we've seen each other. It's just, it's complicated. You'll know what to do when the time comes. last time we spoke was anything but peaceful. You told me if I messed with your family again, you'd kill me. Yeah. It was a long time ago. I was a dumb kid. Did a lot of dumb things. Got myself into trouble, but... There's something that I learned when I went to prison. You know, like, there's other ways that you can deal with... problems. You have come to my house uninvited, and I would like you to leave. I have nothing to say to you. And I'll say it. My sister... It's Casey's mother, not you. But you were pregnant with Troy's kid. So for her sake, and now that I think about it, maybe yours too, I'm gonna ask you, nicely, respectfully, leave our family in peace. I said leave. Leave! drink it never ends well you're my daughter you don't get to pass judgment on me i am not your daughter 
I never was. Casey, it's hard enough without... Without what? The truth? You never told me I was adopted. Casey, will you please just listen to me? <laughs> when you're a mom, you always think that there will be time for these things. You put it off. You hold on to every moment, hoping that it'll last forever, and then, then your little girl's a teenager. I'm naming anyone. I'm just trying to tell you I'm sorry. I'm trying to tell you that I no. love you. I... <sighs> Police woke me up asking questions about you. Did you go to Diana? You really scared her, apparently. Have you been drinking? Oh my God, Jake! You have a hearing in just over a month. If you keep messing up, I won't be able to help you anymore. And we won't be able to help each other. Please, tell me you understand. Yeah. Yeah, of course, I understand. Now, we need to get our story straight. Tell me everything that happened tonight in detail. Hey, hon, can I come in? Well, uh, I just had a conversation with your mother, and she told me about the fight you had last night. Please leave me alone. <laughs> you won't lie to me. You know, I remember when you were a little girl, you had nightmares all the time. You were so afraid in the dark. I was afraid of everything. All night. Every night. It was so important for her to know that you felt safe. I get why you're saying all this, but it just... Just hear me out, okay? I know that a lot of mothers and daughters go to war at your age, but you need to know that we love you. We've always loved you, we always will. You are my flesh and blood, Casey. But Elle chose to be your mother with all her heart. And you need to know the, the promise. It's gonna be okay. It's okay. a long time yes it has uh, please come in you're done i heard you've done an amazing job with casey i don't think i've done that much good at all I fear I've driven her away from me, and now she's seeking you out. And Troy, he's... El, if you're worried about Troy and I, what happened between us was a long time ago. That's what he said. He claims he doesn't have any feelings for you, but I know that can't be true. There are all kinds of feelings, but I would never again try to take what is yours. You did it before. I know. Because of what happened? So I'm supposed to say thank you? No, I'm sorry, I did not mean- Do you have any idea what it was like for me when my husband told me that you were pregnant with his child when I couldn't even have one? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for raising my voice. Casey's your daughter, not mine. 
And as for everything going on, I honestly think she's just trying to find a piece of herself that was missing. We can't blame our girls for wanting to be sisters. They're inheriting a legacy that we gave them for better or worse. And I know you would too well. But I just ask that we remember that it's, it's not about what we believe is ours, but the futures of those girls that we would do anything to protect. Hi. I hope I'm not interrupting something. Hi, honey. Um, this is Casey's mother, Elle. It's nice to meet you. I should be going. Uh, it was nice to meet you, too. Well, that was awkward. Honey, I don't doubt it. Mom, I don't. <laughs> Sorry, it's just Linda. Oh, your new basketball buddy? Yeah. Well, I'd love to meet her, if that's all right. Why don't you invite her to our little dinner party tonight? Mom, why are you making peace by inviting my new friends? No, I, I just thought it would be nice for you to have her over. Okay. I don't know when I went wrong with Jake. He could have had such a better future. You gave him everything for him to be great in life. You have nothing to feel guilty for. I wish Harry was still alive. Jake was so close to his dad. Oh. And Elle was such a good girl. She never deserved what her husband did to her. And I am so afraid. It's all going to blow up in her face again. Elle can be strong, but a divorce will leave her with nothing to live for. It's not your... If you hadn't used your connections with that hospital, my daughter might not even be alive right now. I believe we must always stand by our family. You've been with me a long time, Andrew. That means your family, too. Thank you. I have good news, though. I'm in, and I know exactly what to do. I'm only giving you five minutes. Nice to see you, too, Elle. Look, we managed to get through a whole year without anyone knowing what happened. So let's please try to keep it that way. It was one kiss at a cocktail party. And that's not the problem. Troy is the problem. He's about to blow off our fundraiser road trip and destroy the company. I need you to talk some sense into him. <laughs> Don, I've got my own problems. And, and if this deal doesn't happen, all of our livelihoods go up in smoke. Everything ends, L. And if you don't help me fix this, I may be forced to do something radical. I don't like threats. Yeah, well, neither do I. But I'm going to do what it takes. The wheels are already in motion, so... Fair warning. Goodbye, Don. Don't ever call me again. I'm going to keep you... Look who I found. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and that's my sister Peg behind all that spaghetti sauce. Hello. Hi, Peg. 
This is uh, actually her party. It's kind of a going away thing. I am getting on a plane for Hawaii tomorrow. Three weeks of surf and sunshine. My friend Megan is letting me use her timeshare condo there. Oh, cool. I am totally Ooh. joking. Hey. We talk? Yeah. Great. So, Troy, I, uh, I talked with Don. Oh. He, he actually wanted me to talk to you about the road trip. Look, I don't think I should go away right now. Not when things are so bad with Casey. No, well, actually, maybe some time apart is exactly what we need. And he seemed really worried. <laughs> Look, I could care less what Don wants. He made a move on you. And I dealt with it. But you know how hot-headed he gets. I don't know, I think he's gonna do something. Your business needs the investors and it'll be good for all of us. Just think it over. So, honey, Fran tells me you're from Austin. Yeah. You don't have a Texas accent. Oh, no, neither do my parents. It's kind of a myth that we all sound like chicken fried steak, so. <laughs> oh, the Magnolia Cafe there is wonderful. Sorry, what? Oh, it's that uh, famous breakfast restaurant near the Capitol. I went there when I visited a friend once. I've never been. Huh. You grew up in Austin. Interesting. Oh, I am just asking this intriguing young lady to tell us a bit more about herself. Well, I can tell you that I don't like pancakes. Could you direct me to the nearest ladies' room? Yes, it's just down the hall through there. Okay. So, Fran, how old is Linda? Uh, not sure, but she's going to college here. Yeah. I'm gonna be right back. I just needed a second away from everyone. I get panic attacks sometimes. Oh, well, I hope you're okay, honey. It's a nice ride, huh? <laughs> Help Diana pick up the color. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I like cars. Yeah. Stressful it can be meeting a room full of new people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what a shame. Diana was never good at housekeeping. Litter everywhere, but in the trash can. Mm. And that's that. Did I sense some distrust of our new friend? I haven't made up my mind yet. She's very interesting. Anyway, I had better get going myself. So it's still early. I know, and I have to be on a plane in less than eight hours. Okay, mm. I'll see you when I get back, kid. Okay. Oh. You too. 
Hmm? Take care of each other, OK? OK. All right. Love you. I love you. Love you. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Have fun. Bye. up. The aunt saw something and it could definitely be a problem if she puts two and two together after the accident. I'm at her place right now. Okay, done. Hello, Jake. Did you pick up my prescription? Um, I forgot. I'm sorry. I, I had a lot to do with the garage. I'm sorry. I know there's something else going on with you. Nothing's going on. I, I just... I know you feel you must protect your sister. We both feel that. But I have set things in motion that will take care of everything. You need to trust me on this. Someone's in here. I advise you come out now. Good woman, Peg. You don't deserve this. You just saw too much. Honey, we're out of milk. I'm gonna make a quick run to the store before bed. Oh, let me. Please. You only have your learner's permit. I have to go with you. Come on, Mom. Please. OK. <laughs>
Cole, you were very lucky. It could have been much worse. Troy texted, says he wants to bring Casey over in the morning. I really like that. Okay. Come here. I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, and he said I was really lucky. The car is pretty busted, though. Thank you both for coming. Uh, they'll send your best. Do you mind if we had a chat? No, not at all. See you. Oh, thank goodness nobody was killed. Yeah, I just feel like it's a sign. You know, Casey really wants us to bring our families together. I'm thinking maybe that's not such a bad idea. Is Jake there with you? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I was thinking, uh, Diana's car, do you think? Maybe you could help fix it as a show of our support? I'll think about it. Please do, Jake. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. We need to step this up. I've been thinking a lot about the past. I remember when we first met. I think collided would be more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> there we were exchanging insurance info and my car was totaled. Oh, I was so angry. I couldn't believe it when a brand new Toyota showed up in my driveway the next day. I nearly killed you. I mean, it was the least I could do. And who would think we'd get along so well after that? When El caught us together, I was so ashamed. And then her button. <sighs> Suddenly I was pregnant. I'd like to think we're different people now, but I don't know if we ever stop ruminating over certain decisions. Do you regret what happened? No. No, it was good. We were good. And maybe it's selfish, but it just kind of seemed like you and I made sense at the time. And I still feel connected to you, but in a different way, you know? Me too. But we have the tie that binds. Casey will always be the beautiful thing that we made together. She will. So things have pretty much scorched earth with my mom. I just, I never know what to say to her. We always seem to rub each other the wrong way, no matter what. Yeah. The adults in this clan, they kind of failed us, didn't they? Maybe we're supposed to be the adults now. And we have to figure out this whole big mess. I know, right? A lot easier. You know, with a big sister. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been a bit tense between Jake and I, but he says I'll have my car fixed in a few days, and they even gave me a rental. I'm, I'm sorry you had to go through all this. How are you holding up? I just feel so responsible. But I'll be okay. We all will. Thank you for checking in. You're welcome, Diana. Hey. Hey. So everything's okay? Yes, but it's not okay with you, is it? <sighs> Sorry, it's just... It's just strange, you talking to that woman. I want to make peace. I really do, I just... I know. I can't help thinking... Thinking what? That this brings Diana closer to us? Look, I'm ashamed for feeling this way, but I... I can't help it. I'm sorry. Elle, I married you because you see the best in people. And that's what means. And she's brilliant. Oh, 
damn it. I... Great timing, man. You ever been to the office and this battle station's over here? Yeah. Well, I told you I need time. We don't have time. The road trip's been set up. We start in Italy. If we don't, the company's finished. We lose everything. Be on a plane to Europe tomorrow. I'm serious. If you can't take charge of your own life, I'll take charge of it for you. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, she did. A long time ago. But we're all adults now, right, Don? Bye. Hey kid, I'm out saving the world. So leave a message. Hey Peg, it's Diana. It's um, it's been a bit of a rough time here. I was hoping we could chat. Uh, listen, can you please let me know if you got checked into Megan's condo? Okay, just want to make sure you're all right. Hey, listen, uh, I just want to say there's no hard feelings, and I'll have the car fixed up good as new. No charge. Wow. Uh, thank you. No, I think messing with their car was a mistake. No, listen, these people, they're not stupid. They're gonna figure it out sooner or later. They're gonna figure out that we're working together. It's... No, look, you know that I would do anything for this, but... <sighs> okay. I'll take care of it. that Peg never called me back. She sent this response to my text, but it just, it doesn't sound like her. There's no jokes or anything. Hmm. I tried calling her friend from work, the one whose condo she's using, but she didn't pick up. A lot of people ignore numbers they don't recognize. Yeah. Well, Peg left her coworker's address in town. It's not that far. Maybe I'll just drive over there and see if she's heard anything. can't stop thinking about the accident. It should have been me. I'm so sorry. Don't talk like that. It's like you said, none of us saw that coming. I know, Mom. Diana Parker? Hi. Uh, I, I tried calling earlier a few times. I'm Peg Bannister's sister. Oh, I did, sorry, I didn't get your call. I've been homesick all day. I turned off my phone. Uh, I don't mean to intrude. Um, I won't bother you. I was just wondering if you'd heard from Peg. No, I haven't. <sighs> oh. In fact, I don't think she checked in at my timeshares. At least that's what my people over there said. Anyway, I thought she canceled her trip. She she never checked in at all? Look, we both know Peg, OK? She probably met a guy and went off on some romantic adventure or something. Hey, thank you so much for your time. Good luck. <sighs> Saving the world. So leave a message. 
Okay, Peg, I'm officially freaking out. You never checked in at the condo? Can you please just text me or call me and let me know what's happening? Mom, are you okay? I'll be fine. I, I wasn't hurt. Well, should I call someone? Are you sure you're okay? No, you just stay put. I'll be home soon and then we can chat more. Did you see his face? Do you know who it was? No, it, it just happened so fast. Listen, I need to check if the police have any more questions for me, okay? Mom? Yes, sweetie. I love you. I love you too, honey. So much. She spooked. It's weird. First the car, now this. Do they know what's wrong with the engine? Not yet. Hopefully soon. I need to blow off some steam. Go shoot some hoops with Linda. You wanted me to set the part? I have some stuff to do here right now, but soon, okay? I want to see you. Yeah, me too. Okay, bye. Mom, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I got a text from Peg. Apparently she stayed with another friend out there, so I was worried for nothing. They say when something like that happens, your whole life flashes before your eyes. And did it? Not really. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the park. Is that okay? Come here first. Did you know anything about this? No, uh, what? Yeah, she's claiming that Diana broke the original agreement and the NDA, and she's suing to keep her away from you and Casey. I... No, I can't believe this. I never told my mother to do this. Well, we have to fix it, and you need to call her. Well, I don't know if I can fix it. I don't know if I can stop her. Honey, you have to. <laughs> I mean, this is nuts. It... I gotta get on a plane this afternoon with Dawn which is the absolute last thing I want to be doing right now, but if I don't go, who knows what happens to the company. I know, okay. I'm going to call her right away. I'm sorry, Troy. I really thought that we were working all of this out. I don't know why. She... I love you. So she got jumped? Did she see the guy's face? Did she give the police a description or something? No, he, um, he got away clean. Look, I'd rather not think about it right now. Okay? Focus on me. Concentrate on getting the ball, okay? Okay, you're too tall. It's not about size, it's about style. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, it's getting pretty late, so I should probably go. Okay, hey, uh, grab your stuff. I'll give you a ride. Okay. <laughs> oh. Um, here. I gotta get this. It's school. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. 
that place is gonna be the death of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, Mother, you do not understand how I feel, and you need to back off. How did you feel before when this all happened? Your world was shadowy. That's not the kind of protection that I want. So just stop. Are you soon? Okay. Hey, I'm right here for you. Can we talk, please? Um, sure. Honey, I want you to know that your grandmother is starting some trouble with Diana. What kind of trouble? She's suing her on what she says is my behalf, but I'm not going along with it. Wait. You're okay with Diana being our lives? I know it's what you and Francine want. Mom, just I wanted to know where I came from. That's all. <laughs> well, maybe there's a lesson there for all of us. Maybe Diana should be your mother also. She gave birth to you. And she was noble enough to let us raise you. That means she's a good woman. We're so lucky to all be together. Both families. God, I love you. Um, hello? Hey, I just got copied on your lawsuit from Gloria. Please tell me you're not going along with this, Troy. <laughs> of course not. I talked to my lawyer about it, and he thinks the case is flimsy at best. I'm going to Europe for two weeks. But I have my best people working on it, so don't worry, we're gonna fix this. I wanna trust you, but. <sighs> Diana, talk to me. All of the things that have been happening the car wreck, the mugging. But they're all connected. You think Gloria might have something to do with it? Anything is possible, but I mean, I'm more concerned about her son. Just get in touch when you're back, okay? All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. No word from Diana. A bit surprised. I told you it wouldn't work. We need action, not legal papers. Calm down. This is just the beginning. I'm making a run to the grocery store. Oh, good. I'll text you if I can think of anything else we need. I'm taking a nap. Please, don't do anything foolish. It could just be a big one, then. But that sure does look like the pearl from Peg's necklace. The thing is, what was it doing in Linda's car? Could she have stolen it somehow? I mean, how long have you really known this girl? For starters, we have to keep this to ourselves. Mom's already upset enough, and I don't want to worry her more until we know for sure. But if we do find real proof, then... How can I help? I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you know. Whatever happens, I think I need to check out Peg's house. Okay, um, I can look into Linda's social media while you do that. Do you have a last name on her? You know what? I never even asked. But her pics handle is radgirl95, so maybe that's a start. Hi, Dad. We need to talk. I still remember that night, when I was seven, what mom tried to do to me. I just, I can see it so clearly. 
She's dead and gone. You saved my life from her. But I owe Gloria, too, for getting me to the hospital after all that. You used to say... And I also said that a daughter's love is a man's greatest reward. Mm -hmm. Gloria Kraus is our reward for having gone through all that. One day, we'll be a real family, all of us. I'll marry her, perhaps. I feel we're growing closer all the time. Good. But we must save her daughter. Diana Parker must die so that Elle doesn't suffer. And no one can be the wiser. Not Gloria. Not anyone. How are we gonna do it? Another mugging? It must seem... Understand? Yeah. Can I count on you? Of course. You took a life for me, and I'll do the same. Good. I won't fail you again. I won't stop until it's done. I promise. I don't like you coming home when it's dark outside. I, I would prefer if you would just stay home tonight. I just want to go to the movies. I understand that, but I am worried. Too many strange things have been happening. Look, I know I'm being overcautious, but could you just humor your mother, please? All right. I'll stay home, Mom. Francine, I see that look on your face. <laughs> Honey, still awake? Yeah, just thinking. What you thinking about? I'm not supposed to tell. Fran told me not to. Oh. Hey, I didn't know you knew Linda Teasdale. She's a friend of Fran's. <laughs> Small world. What do you mean? Checking in again, Mother. It's late. Might have been tampered with. You mean someone might have caused the accident to happen? Maybe. Gotta get a little more dirty to find out for sure. We'll be late. This is shocking. Please let me know what else you find. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Hey. What's up? I just got ten pegs. Have you gone in yet? Like, have you found anything weird? Not yet. What's wrong? I just found out. How the hell did you find that out? My mom just told me. I've met Andrew lots of times, but I never knew that was his daughter. Anyways, my mom thinks it's just a coincidence, but... She gave me her last name, and I'm looking into her right now. She told me she moved here with her mom. She lied. I'm going into the house. Just stay on the line, okay? I'm starting to get a really bad feeling about this. Okay. Peg gave me a key for emergencies, so I guess this qualifies. Oh, uh, she needs some help at her house. Would you be okay by yourself for an hour or two? It's no problem. Please, tell her hello. It's been far too long. Yes, it has been. I know Linda's had a hard time, and she's a very private person, but I would love it if she could meet my granddaughter someday. I think they would get along well. Yes, I do too. That would be lovely. Mm -hmm. 
I am devoted to you, Gloria, and this family. I hope you know. I think you're very special also. Thank you. But I'll check Peg's bedroom. Honey, I'm gonna make a little snack. Are you hungry? Honey? Oh my God. What is it? I just looked up Linda in the public data search. Friend. Want something to eat? I'll check the basement. Oh, God. Are you there? Oh, my God. Friend. Talk to me. I found more pearls. They match. Something must have happened to Peg right here in this house. Oh, thank God. Are you okay? Where are you? I'm fine, Mom. I'm at Aunt Peg's. What? Why? Look, it's a long story, but... Casey and I think that Linda might have done something to Peg. Linda? Your new friend? Why would she... You know what, honey? Just stay there. I'm gonna come get you, okay? okay. Don't move. I'll call a ride chair. I'm gonna be back in 10 minutes. Okay, hurry back. I love you. I love you too, Mom. <sighs> Jake, why are you calling me so late? I, um, I found something in your fuel tank. Yeah. Look, has anyone been to your house that you don't trust? You mean besides you? Diana, I'm sorry for all that. I am, but this is serious. Oh. Oh, what? Uh, Fran just told me something that might tie into this. I have to call you back. Yeah, yeah, okay. There is an explanation for all this. Andrew, what the hell are you talking about? What have you been doing here? I came to put my cards on the table, so to speak, to your sister and your mother. You love them dearly. As do I. So I hope you'll hear what I have to say. Driver, take Mand Avenue. It's faster. this whole time your daughter she'll seduce troy all over again and he'll leave Elle, and that'll destroy her i can't let that happen you can't let that happen so i'm supposed to cover this up that you get away with attempted murder you're gonna have to see that my way is the only way you gotta be out of your mind if you think I'm gonna go through with this. Don't be a fool, Jake. Is that a threat? No. I just can't let the truth come out. I have my own family to protect. Tonight. <laughs>
can't know about now, just please call me back. I'm gonna call my sister too. Oh my god. The victim was found in a shallow grave in a wooded area near a construction site, meaning someone was in a hurry. Did you get that ID for me yet? Peggy Bannister. Okay. We'll inform the family. Wait. What are you saying? Andrew's been trying to kill Diana? That's insane. Listen, I know how it sounds. You gotta trust me. He said there's something happening tonight. Okay, you're only a few minutes away from the house. You gotta get to Diana now. I'll be there as soon as I can. Just don't take any chances. Okay, okay, I'm leaving right now. And I'm coming with you, Mom. There's more you need to know. Something bad's about to happen. I know it. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. right out of here and you're never gonna see me again just give me one second the car went dead because of something you did it was meant for me wasn't it and you did something to peg too what did you do to peg She knew too much. You killed her? And your mother is a monster. She's trying to destroy our family. That's why she has to pay. I know your father made you do this. Andrew Teasdale, but... One. It's over, Linda. Go! <laughs> to apply to the same college. Casey, we'll be all settled in when you become a freshman. Yeah, so I'll know all the ropes when she shows up. Good point. Mm -hmm. Perks of having a big sister. <laughs> totally. Hey, you okay? It's been quiet all morning. Oh, I I'm sorry. I I've just been thinking about Mother. She's still having a really hard time with everything that happened. She feels like she failed by letting Andrew into our lives. But we were lucky. We still are. That's what Peg would have said. For everything you've given me. <laughs> All right, well, let's
let's cheers to us, guys. Yeah. Yes. yes. Cheers yeah. to all of us. Okay. <laughs> let's eat. Ooh. I have a really good joke. Okay. <laughs> Zabo rule three two one zero zero. Action. Chika chhe. Tumi thako tumar bari gari thon shampot niye. Ami shop tumaki dey dilam. Amar kichhu lagna. Bol. Chole. Zabo Sam. Kothay jacho? Tumi amar kiye bolte ke chite paro na. Sam. शिक्षाई शिक्षा दे कहकार देखते जिला